I have some great encouraging news. I hope you stay for this video. Hi, I'm Susie J. Cobwebs, and I am the author of the Betrayal in the First Degree series. Two out of the four books are out on Amazon, and the third one I am working on currently, so hopefully that'll be coming out soon. And the fourth one is in the reins as, it, or as we speak. <laughs> okay, so this encouraging news is something that I don't normally talk about, and this is about my full-time job. Honestly, this, is gonna, this video is not gonna be any different. But a conversation that I had really provided me the warm and fuzzy feeling or that fuzzy moment that I would love to share with you. And hopefully you've had this experience too. To the extent of my job function, of my full-time job, I am in customer service. I have been at this said job for many years. I've climbed up the promotional ladder with many bumps and bruises along the way. And I've became a whiz at my computer systems. And I've been professional and courteous and almost like ambitious to make that phone experience for that customer almost a one-stop shop. I don't wanna sound conceited or anything, but by no means. I was just explaining to you what my atmosphere is like during the day in the life of a full-time work from home customer service job. As my supervisor asks me if I wanna do overtime, and really honestly, I do that mostly during the week, I got a message on my messenger system through my work it actually said that I was available, I had the green light, and this person messaged me. And she said, were you my trainer about two years ago? And as I looked at her name, I said, yes. This became a better conversation than anticipated. And the reason why I say it this way is because she wanted to get a hold of me because her supervisor was looking for trainers for the new set of employees that were just starting on this journey. I was thrilled that I had that much inspiration that she even suggested me to her own supervisor. When she told me this, the first thing that came to my mind was I wanted to make sure I got the message and it was well received. I said to her, first off, I want to say that I am very proud of you. You have made it through the company and you went up that promotional ladder. She repeated the encouraging news back to me and I explained everything to her about this new adventure that she was going to be conquering as an also another trainer. Now, these simple wins, a lot of people take for granted, but you never know just a conversation, a phone call, a face-to-face -face interaction, these love simple wins that you get through actually make your day brighter or that other person, their day brighter. And that's all we want in life, right? Have you ever had someone request your presence for something that they knew that you were good at and they felt that you would be a good asset to train or to promote the business? Have you ever said a compliment in a conversation with someone that ended up really to being a warm, fuzzy moment? I hope so. If you have any questions or comments, by all means, write them in the comments below and we will get to them. And I hope you had a Love Simple Wins moment today. If you like these videos and you wanna see more of these videos, by all means, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that post notification button so you can stay on top of all the different things that I post. And to the next time, love you bunches.